ladies and gentlemen, we are jumping right into the middle of this game. This is the second game between Free Agent Force and Asuki uh, Suki. Free Agent Force did take the first one of the series, and it's looking at this point like we might have a third game on our hands, because this game is dead even. We go either way. Asuki uh, Suki's coming back with a vengeance. They're definitely up with Long getting a nice kill. For the red, I believe Asuki Suki is the blue side, and we have free agent force on that red side. I could be wrong, but I'm almost certain. You do see blue side with the small size of the lead, seven kills, and about 5k gold up mm -hmm. with one extra tower. For the tower, so they are, and after losing the first game, this could be them coming back in. Cadavers is in a lot of trouble. There's going to be a great dunk from Senpai to get that kill with the help of Lissandra and Nautilus. Sender now coming in, Zenjoss is a monster on that champion. We saw the ultimate coming up from Nautilus. He's gonna knock up with Sander. Or not Sander, I'm sorry. LeBlanc. They're both Luz. Meanwhile, Fresh got. Well, I couldn't get my name. Ooh, good pull. From Sinky. Gonna take some power damage. But gonna return some damage onto Windows and Tubby Flounder in return. So, this tower could be in danger. You see the jungle Nautilus apparently doing well again. Mm. One, thirteen. Ooh, Vile, Vile, Vile. LeBlanc is going to get killed by collateral damage. Oh, Windows as well goes down. Oh, wait, Graves wasn't in that fight. That wasn't collateral damage. Oh, collateral damage of some kind, regardless <laughs> of whether or not it's a proper noun or just nouns. <laughs> Botside's pushing up as well here, so... Blue with an 11 kill lead. Almost 10k gold. Eight and a half, so... And another turret to the game. This is definitely looking like we might have a third game on our hands. That dragon coming up in 15. Asuki mm. Suki definitely having their eyes on that. Sure, they have vision. Let's see, how many dragons do they have? Oh, the tab menu does not work, Inspector. It's uh, two oh, dragons up in here. Rito, please, added that nice little. You can also click on the icon. You'll see yeah. they have the double dragon slayer buff. But we hate that icon, so. Target frame. It's about the least useful information giver in the game. <laughs> Situation. In the meantime, Skittles is looking to come in and cause some disruption. Windows as well on that by jungle. This could be a full on fight. Sneaky getting snared up. There's going to be a missed hook on a snared target as he himself gets down. Dunked on. That's the kill for Dunk Master Darius. LeBlanc, meanwhile, picked up Morgana somewhere in there. Cadavers could be in trouble though as he gets pulled back in. There's going to be another dunk from Darius. The reset killing spree onto that Irelia. Really, now LeBlanc is jumping in, but she may be in a lot of trouble as Lissandra with the Zenjoss gets the ultimate. Great job, blue side to kill three for one and get themselves what looks to be their third dragon. Well, we have a little bit of a downtime with the dragons on the investment. Swap around those player icons. So we obviously have no idea what went on during landing phase, but it's safe sure. to assume the blue team had a very sizable lead. Well, you should say that, but Corky is well up in CS. He's down in kills. But laning phase for that bot side might not have been so bad. Usually what happens is um, when bot lane wins, the winning AD carry may not, may or may not be farming as efficiently mm. while the other one... Because he's off farming champions. Yeah. Five kills is definitely big. Six deaths on the Thresh, too. He is... Skittles has, has died a good bit this game. And... That's not boating well. The the support build is coming out, but you see they're still at Nomad's Medallion. Uh, not even completing the first full support item almost 30 minutes into this game and only having the full item of a sight stone. Speaking of behind, um, Windows doing very poorly. This was just not his game, apparently. Mm. You see uh, Graves getting chased out by Aurelia. Graves trying to find a way out. Aurelia knowing that Graves' team is coming, so she's going to just dip out of there. And not Tower may not be enough to save her, though. With the Nautilus and the Morgana, if Nautilus can just press R. Or Lissandra. Oh, Cadaver okay, running in on this one, foreseeing maybe the inevitable death, and trying to do something about it beforehand. Gonna run out of this one. Windows to the rescue as well, but Tower does go down. Sneaky coming in on the back line, maybe Excuse trying me. to do something in there. Darius, in the meantime, pushing on that bot lane while all members of the purple side are distracted. So good play from Asuki Suki. Meanwhile, top lane, LeBlanc's getting a kill onto Lissandra, but she's going to maybe go down herself now as Nautilus is getting in onto this action. Going to chase the clone! Ouch. That's heartbreaking. Irelia sneaking off to get the back. Good play from Kadabra. Meanwhile, Senpai is going to take the tower of the free agent force. Corky 
may have something to say about it, but I don't think Senpai has his listening ears in right now. He's going to be getting on to Tubby Flounder. He's going to have to jump away. That corpse equalizer. And this could be two towers in there. There's two inner towers. Four. Oh, Suki Suki. Definitely looking like we have another game on our hands. So the hype is building. Lunch break will have to wait. <laughs> Baron's on the menu right now. Nautilus getting spotted out. Vision for each side is uh, pretty pretty minimal. They mm -hmm. don't, neither team has you know more than mediocre work. They have the necessities covered, but yeah. nothing huge. Most of the vision, actually. The only vision that blue side has of red is coming from waves. One ward just got spotted out. He's a scooper on the pink ward. So neither of them have the best idea of where the others are. They know in general, but they can't see these bigger movements. I doubt red team caught just in how big of a force that blue side was coming down here. You have two red trinkets coming on red team. They are definitely trying to clear mm. as much of blue's vision as sure, possible. Sure, stifle out that vision, starve it, but blue side doesn't have as many wards, so either they're not placing as many, or those trinkets are working out pretty well <laughs> for free agent force. Gonna get the sweep, gonna get the wards out there. Just just what you were talking about. And we can see Scrape in the bot. It's interesting. It's a block coming up from the side to ward up. Full on five on five. Nautilus looking for that hit. Sneaky Nautilus. Get yeah, it. I remember when this game, wards were just not important oh, back in the day. You, you know? shut <laughs> your mouth. Wards were never not important. You saw that bush, you didn't care if they might have been uh, in there. You went in that bush. <laughs> you, you just say words and sometimes, yeah. As a support main, that just hurts my heart to hear. I am upset when I can only place three wards on the map. Rito in their vision. Stifling. I used to make this map look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> like a Christmas tree. Ugh. Either way, those days are long behind us. And now we are on our fifth season of League of Legends. League has come a really long way. Mm -hmm. Like if you've played back in beta or season one, like visually, mechanically, like everything has changed. Absolutely. It's a different game, evolved for the best and arguably the biggest esport in the world. So yeah. Oh, see, by, by going, going in. in. Dude, <laughs> Morgana dropping the black. It's a little late. Got Lissandra ulting herself, it looks like. Stabbers is going to get in Darius. trouble from the dunk. Stabbers. Ooh, this could be bad as there's going to be another death. Blue side coming out. But uh, Corky could be coming in for the cleanup squad. Fish Frogman's going to have to flash away from that one. Tubby Flounder looking Corky for a flash in himself. Nice missile. kill. There's Lissandra, though, coming in. Going to knock him. Or, but, I'm sorry. Grab him up. Senpai's gonna pull it back, spin, and not even gonna need the dunk as that is gone. Now, Ash is gonna maybe be able to hold this tower off, but definitely crippling team fight there. Blue team definitely making their gold lead a whole lot more noticeable now. Mm. About almost 10k up with three extra towers. Mm. Looks like they're looking to take this next dragon in 18 seconds. Fourth dragon if they get this fourth so one, critical. This game is over if they get this fourth one. And not even for the buffs that it gives, but just for the threat of, okay, next one's fifth. Yeah. I mean, the buffs are definitely nothing to sneeze at, but that fifth dragon is... In a sense, that timer on a game where you say some champions had a, you know, a Bane or a, or a Tristana puts a timer on a game, becomes this huge hyper carry late, and you can't beat it after 50 minutes. Yeah. I was Fifth Dragon's the same way. I was playing a game earlier today, and we honestly, me and my team honestly had a very poor game. The enemy team mm. ended up getting five dragons, and Ooh. Baron is a very big pushing buff. It was very yeah, hard to deal with that. Absolutely choking, gasping for air at that point. Speaking of air, there's a lot of tension in it as both of these teams are swung out of the dragon. Blue side, backing off. Don't quite understand why. They definitely have vision going on here, but they may just be content to give this dragon away. Why is everybody backing? <laughs> Stay, <laughs> fight! Play the game! Make interesting! Ah! Neither team wanting to risk losing the dragon, so they just rather back by... 
Red Sun's looking to migrate toward that barren area. I believe I believe Fourth Dragon would be worth the Baron. If you Red could, Team wanted to take the Baron and Blue get Fourth Dragon. Absolutely. I don't know that Blue Side's necessarily going to look at it that way. They've been playing very greedily, and it's been working for them. But they've been trying to grab every objective where they can. I don't think that Baron's something they'd want to let go. There goes the Sanders jumping in onto Windows, maybe going to get the ultimate in here in a second. There's going to be Windows going down to Pro Baller, and she's going to get knocked up. Ash is going to go very, very low. Meanwhile, Corgi doing some damage in the background. But Senpai and... Pro Baller are doing a lot of damage here. They did a really, they did a really good job. Ooh, nice dunk, dunk by Darius. from Senpai. Getting the reset. He is 16, so that dunk is up for whatever reason. Running cadavers into a cadaver. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> they did a really good job of keeping Corky out of that mm -hmm. fight. Had he stepped in even a little bit, he would have right. died to some sort of... He was off here in this river bush, running back and forth, trying to fire rockets in, but... Absolutely ineffective against this side. Morgana and Zendos did take a good bit of damage, but definitely not anything stifling. The minion grab from Fresh is going to almost certainly mean this inhibitor is gone for sure. Windows popping in onto Graves with the spell and he's going to survive from that assault and battery. Now, the launch jump into Ash not going to be able to get out of this one, and I Live on Skittles is going to drop. This is almost certainly the game with two big players dead. Blue side actually is just gonna back right off. So not game just yet. But if they were pushing this hard beforehand, imagine how hard they're gonna be able to push now that the minions are going to be flooding that bot side or mid side. Now it would actually be relatively safe for them to go take try and contest Baron. <clears throat> yeah. They're all relatively high health. They could kill it pretty easily. Mm -hmm. At the time, they still had 25 sure. on their jungle and their support. Absolutely. I, I feel as though a lot of people it is. I don't want to say necessarily stereotype, but sort of canon in League of Legends that uh, the, the inhibitors to have for Baron are bot and mid, just because they're the farthest ones away from Baron. Yeah. But I also feel like that, that's kind of come with a negative connotation of people saying, okay, we need these to go for Baron. You don't need to have those inhibitors pushing to have the perfect circumstances for Baron. You can just have the one. And in some senses, you can have none. So yeah, there was kind of an oversight for them to not chase that down. I'd say a safe Baron is their jungler is definitely dead. Yours is definitely mm -hmm. alive. And sure. you have more people alive. You have the stronger team fight yes. in general. If you're losing team fights all over, it might not matter if they had, say, a Lee Sin jungle who's not going to be the best team fighter, more that individualistic grabber. Yeah. Um, but in general, you are absolutely right about that one. We'll hit that red and make sure it doesn't get stolen out. Not a lot of danger as both Graves and Nautilus are on that bot side, but definitely wanted to secure that. Corky was in the bot himself, so not going to be able to get that one Senpai snared up. They're probably not going to be able to follow up on. Resh is just trying his best to hold this off. His minions are pouring in. He's got Corky's help, so if Blue Side wanted, they could engage on these champions. And yeah, LeBlanc getting caught by Nautilus and instantly dying. That health bar went damage. from 0 to 60 real quick. <laughs> this has got to be the Baron now. Now they're definitely looking to take. If they had their doubts, they shouldn't anymore. As Pro Baller starts that one off, the only damage sneak is going to come in for the tank run. Vi is definitely right looking to try and steal, but it would be at the cost of her life. Sure, she does have the Banshee's now, which would stop some of that early season. <laughs> Darius flashing on over, getting a double pull. Cadavers is in trouble now. There goes the Baron. Darius going to get knocked up, but Sneaky's coming in with the ultimate. Cadavers going very low, and that's going to be finished off by Sneaky's ultimate as the Graves. And this is definitely the game. There is oh, no way they can screw this up now. No. This is going to be barreling down mid lane, taking those two in hibs. Everyone's saying win, win, win. And we're going to a game three. This is exciting. The first best of three to go to uh, more than 2 0. We saw the first quarterfinal was a clean enough 2 0 from Scott Ellis over the couple of years. Now we're going to be seeing the 2 1 from either Free Agent Force if they can make a comeback or if the momentum's going to be in favor of Ah Sucky Sucky GG's coming out. We're going to get into this third game, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we are on that three minute delay. 
So they should be in Champion Select or loading into game right as we're speaking. Hit home, see that Zenjoss is not in game yet, so they may be taking a little break. Yeah, tell them to get me in here so we can see these picks and bans happen before, get all the commentary we possibly can. And while we wait, we're going to turn the stream on mute.